Hi, everybody. George Chamberlain here watching your dollars on this Friday morning, the 6th of April. Uh, this is uh, a day where the financial markets are closed for the traditional observance of Good Friday, something the financial market has been doing since 1885. But it is also the day that we've been leading toward all week long. We've been getting a series of jobs reports, most of them pretty good, pretty strong. Uh, and today was the day, is the day that we received the official government report for the job market situation during the month of March. It was a disappointment. Uh, most of the experts had been looking for an increase in hiring of around 200,000 or more. We wound up with a number that showed the uh, payrolls increase by just 120,000. Now this comes at, a, at an interesting time because we've been told for the last two weeks by Ben Bernanke and the folks at the Federal Reserve Board that everything is actually going pretty well, that we're seeing the economy moving along and that there probably won't be a need for any further stimulus uh, on the part of the Fed or the Treasury to make the economy grow. Then we get a dog of a report like we got today. Now, is one month a trend? No. And maybe Bernanke and the boys and girls at the Fed know what they're talking about and they know that we'll be seeing improvement and this was just a fluke that we got this number. But we'll, we'll be all watching very carefully to see what, what is said by this. And uh, even though the financial markets are not open, there are several indications that the, there is a growing belief that they may have to wheel back a little bit and we may see some other type of stimulus activity. Of course, we're moving into election season and the Fed usually doesn't do anything but things are a lot different this time around, that's for sure. So we'll see where we go. Watching your dollars, I'm George Chamberlain. Have a good Easter and Passover, and we'll talk to you more about this next week.